Welcome back troglodytes to Would You Rock or Not? Fender Friday Edition. Today we're going to talk about the brand new 2019 American Acoustasonic Telecaster. This has to be the most hyped piece of Fender history that they made for this year. It's been covered on a hundred million different channels, it's been talked about a billion times, but I thought I'd throw my opinions into the mix as well. But first, let's learn a little bit about this guitar. The American Acoustasonic Telecaster is basically the modern electric acoustic guitar. When Fender set out to design this, they wanted this to be revolutionary and groundbreaking, and that's probably why they're really pushing and marketing this product. So specs, we have a spruce top with a mahogany back, which also has a mahogany Telecaster neck, and here's something cool. Look at these fretboards. What wood do you think this is? I kept thinking this was rosewood because of all the streaking, but no, this is ebony. It's an ebony fretboard. If you want to learn more as to why there's all this streaking, I highly suggest checking out this video that discusses ebony and its current sourcing issues. Essentially, most ebony will look like this streaked. It's not pure black. We've just been cutting down tons and tons and tons of trees until we find the nice black stuff. But now that sources are dwindling, manufacturers have been more open to introducing this type. So the way I see this guitar is it's basically the Firebird X of electric acoustic guitars. <laughs> because what they've done is they've designed an acoustic guitar that can emulate the sounds of a bunch of other acoustic guitars. And they've done this through the use of a five-way blade selector switch, a mod knob, and a traditional volume knob that make use of a traditional electric guitar pickup as well as some piezo pickups. So here's what we got. Played just like a regular acoustic and mic'd up, it sounds like this. Position 5A is a dreadnought with rosewood back and sides and a Sitka spruce top. However, using the mod knob, it changes it to an auditorium styled guitar with the same rosewood back and sides, but this time an alpine spruce top. The 4A position gives you a small body acoustic guitar sound with a maple back and sides and an Eagleman spruce top. And then 4B gives you the dreadnought shape with mahogany back and sides and Sitka spruce top. A gives you the Dreadnought Brazilian Rosewood back and side Sitka Spruce Top. 3B. And then 3B introduces the body pickup in that sound hole, which allows you to tap on the instrument for some percussive sounds. Two-way gives you the dreadnought shape again, but with a mahogany back and sides and Sitka spruce top. Which then 2B gives you the same, but it blends this electric pickup in it. And then finally, 1A is just that electric pickup in a clean tone. But in 1B, it gives you the electric fat sound. Now keep in mind, it might be labeled 5A, 5B, and you get the different positionings from the mod knob but you can blend it in between each of these distinct sounds. It's not a mod switch, it's a mod knob. So that definitely gives you a lot of opportunities. Personally, I hate it when it's like that because I don't like having that many options, but I'm sure some of these in-between sounds would be interesting. So what's even the point of this guitar? We already have electric acoustic guitars and we have electric guitars. 
they wanted to do something that sounded more authentic. Everybody knows that a piezo pickup in an electric or an acoustic guitar, it has a very distinct tone to it that's not always the best, so they wanted to improve upon that. And on top of that, they wanted to put acoustic sounds in the hands of mainly electric players. I mean, think about it. If you only play electric and then you switch over to acoustic, Personally, for me, I find it a little bit harder to play because things are way different. The bodies are larger, the strings kind of chew your fingers up a little bit more, especially if you're just beginning. And most people would agree that playing an electric guitar is a little bit more of an easier experience. So blend in the ease of playing and the effortlessness of playing all the way up on the fretboard with the electric guitar shape, but now you have the acoustic sounds. I think it really is interesting and will open up a whole new different sound category for players. So these are being offered in black, natural, sonic gray, sunburst, and surf green. Now personally, I think these guitars are ugly. You've got this weird electric looking guitar with the electric pickup and then you've got your normal style acoustic bridge and a sound hole. It's kind of a jumble of stuff. I, I wouldn't call these aesthetically pleasing to me. However, at the same time, like the S1 and Marauder, those aren't pretty guitars either, but they're awesome. So I'm not necessarily docking this guitar if it sounds as good as they're trying to make it be. My only complaint is I hate the name, Acoustasonic. It's been used so much, Fender. It was right here, 2015. They already did it. Fender Acoustasonic Telecaster. Now this one was completely different. It's kind of interesting. I'll have to read more into those. But they also have a line of amps called Acoustasonic. I think it's starting to get confusing. They should have gave this one a unique name. Now coming up with something unique, yeah, that's a little bit tricky. I came up with like Teleacoustic or Telesonic. These instruments are not widely available yet. I think some of them got sent out in a first run, but I'm sure very soon you'll start seeing these in retail stores everywhere. Goodness knows there's enough pre-sale listings on Reverb. The only question left, would you rock the new American Acoustasonic Telecaster or not? Leave your answer down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.